So Wonder Woman 1984 came out on Christmas as well as Soul. So I am here today to rank all five highest grossing DC movies with Wonder Woman 1984. Now, just to tell you guys, this is not a... This does not mean Wonder Woman 1984 is in the top five highest grossing. I'm just including it on this list. The actual top five highest grossing is Aquaman, Batman v Superman, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, and Wonder Woman. Those are the top five highest grossing, and I'm just including Wonder Woman 1984. The reason I'm not ranking all DCEU films is because I have not seen them all. I have not seen Shazam or Birds of Prey. But yes, hello everybody, my name is Zachary Movie Chat, and today we are ranking the top five highest grossing DC films. Not DCEU, DC. So tell me your ranking down below, either all of the DCEU films or your ranking of the top five highest grossing with Wonder Woman 1984. If you haven't already, tell me down below what is your opinions on Wonder Woman 1984. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for a good measure. And with that said, let's get started. And in sixth place, easily, easily is The Dark Knight Rises. This film was bad. Now, it's really disappointing because the original Dark Knight film is the best superhero movie, one of the best superhero movies ever made, and I'll talk about that later when I go on, but this film is utterly disappointing. Now, the first act starts off as a good but not great continuation of The Dark Knight, and then in the second act, when Batman breaks his back by Bane, and Bane destroys the city, I just turned it off. I could not watch this film. This was utterly disappointing, utterly horrible. N there was nothing good about this film. The action wasn't even good. The story, the pacing was kind of off. The writing was horrible. This is just a very, very disappointing film to come after the amazing Dark Knight film. Coming in fifth place is going to be Batman vs. Superman, Donna Justice. Um, this is a film I didn't much like. Now, just to be clear, I have not seen seen what people are saying, the much better extended edition. I really want to, though. I have not seen it. I just got HBO Max, so I'm going to watch that on there soon, but I have not yet. So, but the original version is just not very good. Now, it's not horrible. The second go-around, it was okay. It just takes on too many plot lines, too many everything, and then, in the end, it's just kind of pointless. Sure, I did did really enjoy the last act. I did think the battle with Doomsday was pretty good. Um, Wonder Woman coming in there for a little bit. That was pretty great. Um, there's a bunch of things in this last act that I really did enjoy. But, like I said, it was kind of disappointing. The first two acts almost had no action for a Batman vs. Superman movie. The... The way things get set up is bad. The The way the heroes get together is just pointless. Batman vs. Superman is a very, very disappointing film. But the third act, you know, it kind of makes it worth it in the third act. And, you know, Lex Luthor kind of makes a good villain a little bit in the way. I do like the, what his plan was, even though Jesse Eisenberg probably was not the best pick. So, an okay third act. The rest of the film was not very good. Fourth place, Wonder Woman, 1984. This is just a cheese, cheese, cheese fest. In a lot of ways, that's good, but in a lot of ways, that is bad. I enjoyed this film. Um, it, It's a nice, enjoyable, cheesy ride from the beginning to the end. From the scene, from the mall scene from the beginning to the very end, it's just... 80s trope after 80s trope after 80s trope, and in some ways, it's not very good for a one-on-one -on -one film, but in a lot of ways, it's perfect to make a film about 1984. Now, sure, coming after the original Wonder Woman, they probably should have chose something more spectacular instead of 1984, where there's a wishing rock that is granting people wishes. <sighs> oh my gosh. Sure, that makes for some funness, but... I just kind of think that central plot point was kind of disappointing. Sure, it was a nice way, and the Cheetah is a great villain. Speaking of villains, I am not a fan of Max War Maxwell Lord's villain in here. He's my worst villain in the DCEU. He's really, really pointless along the way. And, you know, Cheetah, she makes for a good villain. There's some good action scenes in there. There's 
really some good action scenes in there from the White House scene and the car chase scene. That is all some great action scenes. And the cheetah is a good villain, and so there's some fun cheese in here. The acting is great as normal, but with the cheesiness and Maxwell Lord's plan, this is a very disappointing film. Coming in third place will be the original Wonder Woman. Now, this film is great. It takes the, you know, vibe of Wonder Woman being this campy character like they did in Wonder Woman 1984, but they make it perfect by making it in World War I, making it darker, but also having this fish-out-of-water humor, and I think it all works great. Now, sure, it's not a perfect film, but it's close. I did not think that the third act was bad. I actually quite liked the third act. It was probably one of the greatest boss battles of the DCEU, and Steve Trevor and Diana's, Steve Trevor and Diana's chemistry on screen is great. Chris Pine and Gal Gadot, they play them perfectly and together on screen. The action is also great. The scene at No Man's Land in the final battle, that, that is perfect. There are a lot of great things about this film. Making it in the dark, World War I, this is what really helps this film up over Wonder Woman 1984. Because Wonder Woman 1984 was in this campy area, and it's so fun, and it's ridiculous, and things that would definitely not happen. This thing was a war film, but anyway, superhero movie with a fish-out-of-water humor, and I think it is a near-perfect Wonder Woman film. Second place, Aquaman. Yes, I like Aquaman. I like Aquaman a lot. This is a great film. Aquaman is so good. It's my favorite DCEU film. I really like it. From how campy this film is. This is a campy film, but it does it a lot better than Wonder Woman 1984 does. Because it can also be realistic at times. It's a long film about them going on this journey to find this trident. And it's so ridiculous, but there's a lot of things that ground the film on reality, which really, really works unlike Wonder Woman 1984. Wonder Woman 1984, it's, it's this magic rock from the gods and all this thing. And unlike Wonder Woman 1984, these effects in this movie are great. The action is great. There's a bunch of great scenes. It's two hours and a half, and I loved every minute of it. Jason Mawaba totally makes who Aquaman is. He is phenomenal as Aquaman in this movie. The other bad guys are also really good. Ocean Master and... um. The Black Manta, those are both great villains. Probably my favorite in the DCEU. The action is awesome. From the way this film is paced from the beginning, as it doesn't feel very long, as it was a two-hour-and-a-half movie, this film is just great. But easily coming in first place is The Dark Knight. Heath Ledger's performance makes this movie completely. I love Heath Ledger. He is great. Rest in peace, Heath. Why'd you have to kill yourself, guy? I mean, he is a great actor. In this film and in many others. In this film, as a Joker, he makes this dark and kind of humorous character as a bad guy who can do really bad things and can frighten the audience while he is doing kind of what he thinks is right. And he's smart, too. Heath Ledger plays this character perfectly. And with Batman trying to get him, I think it's great. I've ranted on Heath Ledger long enough. The rest of the film is good. It has this kind of dark violence that makes you go on your edge of the street and go, Whoa, that was kind of creepy. I am like, my heart's beating. And like, you're like, should I cover my eyes? But I want to see this. Should I cover? Oh, it's so cool. The Dark Knight is great. The action in here is the best in the trilogy as well. Even though the Dark Knight trilogy action was not very good, I still think it's pretty decent in this film. Overall, Heath Ledger really made this movie. And many other things were great, too, from the style of the story writing to the villain to Two-Face. I think he was handled very well as well. This is just a fantastic film. Make sure to go down below and subscribe. Hit the bell so you never miss another video. And comment down below, what is your ranking of the top five highest grossing movies featuring Wonder Woman 1984? Or what is your ranking of all the DCEU films? I would love to hear your ranking. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.